Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is May 23, 2021, and we celebrate Pentecost Sunday. The Gospel said, The Spirit of Truth, He will guide you to all truth. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, Today is a fitting occasion for the sprinkling rite and infant baptism. The Easter candle is lit at all masses today, the Easter candle might be born in procession at the Sunday Mass as a sign that the Easter season has come to an end. The purpose of Pentecost is the introduction to God doing something He has never done before, that of filling the faithful with His Holy Spirit. The purpose is that we become witness to His character, presence, power, and authority. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd. But they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement, they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans, and Arabs, Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. Responsorial Psalm Lord, send out your Spirit, and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit, and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish, and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit, and renew the face of the earth. The second reading is from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts but the same Spirit, there are different forms of service but the same Lord, there are different workings but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one Spirit. Sequence. Come, Holy Spirit, come and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor. Come, source of all our store. Come, within our bosoms shine. You, of comforters the best, you, the soul's most welcome guest, sweet refreshment here below, in our labor, rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours, and our inmost being fill 
where you are not, we have not, nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, on our dryness pour your dew, wash the stains of guilt away, bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill, guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful, who adore and confess you, evermore in your sevenfold gift to send, give them virtue's sure reward, give them your salvation, Lord, give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to John Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth that proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of Truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears, and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine, for this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Reflection At Pentecost, we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit on the Apostles and Mary, giving birth to the Church that courageously bears witness to the risen Lord, Jesus' promise to sending an Advocate to guide his disciples is fulfilled. The Holy Spirit is sent for a purpose. To remind the disciples of the teachings of Jesus and to instruct them further, to invest the Apostles with the authority to forgive sins to build up the faith and unity of the Christian community through various gifts of the Spirit. Today, there is a major renewal of interest in the Holy Spirit and spiritual charisms. Unfortunately, however, many gifts of the Spirit are restricted to spectacular, extraordinary, and momentary phenomena which often become a cause of rivalry, conflict, and division. Charisms that build up faith and unity in the Christian community, and lead to greater understanding, forgiveness, and service, are true signs of the presence of the Holy Spirit. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.